welcome to competitive engineering in this series of lectures we are going to cover the previous questions of gate 2015 14 and 2013 and going back and in this lecture i am going to cover the 2015 question paper of gate mechanical engineering session 1 this lecture is prepared by competitive engineering and the first question was if any two columns of a determinant p is equal to 4 7 8 3 1 5 9 6 2 are interchanged which one of the following statements regarding the value of the determinant is correct the first option is absolute value remains unchanged but sign will change second option is both absolute value and sign will change third option is absolute value will change but sign will not change fourth option is both absolute value and sign will remain unchanged so let us discuss the solution so we all know how to find the determinant of the matrix it is a 3 into 3 matrix which has 3 rows and 3 columns so the question is if we are interchanging the two columns of the matrix means the first column or and the second column are interchanged in that case what will be what will happen to the determinant so we should know what is what are the properties of determinant so you can find the properties of determinant here click here to see the lecture on properties of determinant so now we can go to the solution solution the properties of determinant one of the properties when two when any two columns or row of a determinant are interchanged then absolute value of the determinant remain unchanged but sign will change which means that if you are interchanging two rows or two columns then the value of determinant will be remain same means absolute value but the sign will change means if you are trying to find out the determinant of this matrix p and after that you are changing the two columns means 4 3 9 and 7 1 6 are interchanged so the first column will be 7 1 6 and second column will be 4 3 9 then find the determinant again the second value will be negative of the first value so the correct option will be option a why we all already explained why that is the absolute value remains unchanged but the sign will change so this is the first question and uh, you can understand how we answered the question if you want to know more about the determinant you can watch the lecture by clicking the link here so we are concluding this lecture we will be coming with more questions in coming lectures if you want to watch these lectures please subscribe to us by clicking the subscribe button and we will be discussing all these questions in detail if you have any doubts or queries in our website www.competitiveengineering.com so join with us we are providing free video lectures and active discussion and study materials so subscribe as thank you